Sir James Galway, the man with the golden flute, back at Heinz Hall with the Pittsburgh Symphony. What a treat it is to have you back with us once again. Nice Welcome. to be here. Nice to be here. I wanted to ask you about your book. You know, as our book club is gathering on Sunday, and we're going to read The Man with the Golden Flute, Sir James, a Celtic minstrel. Who's going to read it? Everyone, uh, we have 44 people signed up, at least, and uh, they are going to discuss it. I'll tell you something interesting about this book. Um, when I, uh, they made a proposal to write the book, and I said, okay. So in the meantime, I got on with my life, playing flute concertos and going out with the kids and eating pizza with a grandson and all the stuff that you do. And I got a phone call one day and said, Jimmy, the publishing date for this book is in about six weeks. Well, I hadn't written one word, but I put it all on tape. So then these jokers who were doing it, they sent it all back, and it didn't sound like me at all. I mean, they were using idioms that I never even heard, never mind used. So I got really going at it, and I wrote the whole entire thing myself from my own material so that it does sound like me when you read this book. It sounds like me talking. It really does. Yeah, that's it's, what I mean. It's a lot and of I, fun. I think that's what a book should do. It should have the voice. It should have a voice. And there was a lot of people working on that thing. I mean, I couldn't believe that so many people. And then I just did it myself because, I mean, these people, they don't know me from a hole in the ground. And they're writing saying, oh, Jimmy, after the concert, he would hoist a few with the boys. I mean, hoist a few with the boys. I never heard that expression in my life, ever. So that got chopped. And in fact, after the concert, I don't go drinking with the boys. Good for you. <laughs> yeah, because, you know, you know what I hate about drinking with the boys? You hear the same old story over and over again. And the drunker they get, the more they repeat it. And, uh, you know, I'm too old for that stuff. You spent several pages writing about Henry Mancini, who's from western Pennsylvania. Oh, with Henry I had a great relationship and uh, still do with his wife. His wife is still alive. She's 85. And she came as a groupie with me and Jeannie. We were doing... Oh, I think I was conducting the orchestra in Shanghai. Yeah, I conducted the orchestra in Shanghai. So she came there, and then we went to Beijing, where I played a... I can't remember what sort of concert I played. Maybe it was a flute and piano. No. Flute orchestra. But we went up the, the Great Wall with her. and I mean, she's a bundle of energy and has a great time. The Pink Panther. 76 trombones? <laughs> yeah, that's a right. 76 trombones or two flutes. You remember, uh, we, we played it once at the Capitol, and it starts off with the second flute, uh, Henry going, da 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 So I'm supposed to come in in the second bar. So I let him play it about 14 bars. <laughs> then he stops and said, Jimmy, you're supposed to come in here. I said, I know, I'm trying to make it famous. Yeah. <laughs> and the audience all cracked up, you know, with Anyway, we had great times together, and you know, playing the music that he wrote, it's very, it's very playable on the flute because he was a flute player. Well, I learned from the book that you've been to the White House twice with both the President Bush and President Clinton. I was also there with George Bush Jr., which was a real scream. Uh, <laughs> it's funny. He's a funny guy, you know. Uh, we played a lot of pieces, and I wanted to play the West Texas Waltz, but they gave us a the film to get out of there and I think he would have enjoyed it because I noticed he was tapping his foot all the way through all these things we were playing you know we were playing things like the president's hornpipe and stuff like that so when he, when he's finished he came over to get a picture and uh, and I said oh maybe I can get a better job with you on this picture he said yeah me too <laughs> Thank you for spending this time talking sure. over the amazing things in your sure. autobiography and your career. And may the road rise up to greet you. And Thank you. May you live long and prosper. And please bring that road back, to, and we follow could, that road back to we Pittsburgh. We could say very well, may the rain fall softly on your back in Pittsburgh. <laughs>